um, there's an argument back and forth. It was actually started which I think was uh, out of John Hopkins about reflux, gura, and its play in asthma. Mm -hmm. Does it have a play in asthma? Yeah, it probably does. The um, uh, the, uh, the 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 issue with asthma uh, and and gastroesophageal reflux is, is somewhat complex. Um, now, I, I don't want to say that that uh, reflux causes asthma, but it uh, certainly reflux can actually. Uh, uh, cause a lot of symptoms that can be attributed to asthma, for example, chronic Well, the asthma. study they talked about, if you put a kid on or a patient mm -hmm. on a reflux medicine, it really didn't change the control of asthma, yet many, many doctors do use the reflux medicine. Yeah. What's your opinion on that? Uh, I, I, find it to be, I find it to be a lot more um, uh, useful in, in some of the younger babies who have chronic symptoms that could be attributed to asthma, for example, chronic coughing. For the older kids is the group, which they were talking more like adults, yeah. probably wouldn't gain as much as a little baby, which we'd see reflexes. I think one out of four babies probably regurgitate significantly. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so so yeah. there is some justification there. Yeah, there isn't, there isn't really good justification for putting somebody on reflux medications, although uh, I think it's something that, that uh, still frequently gets, uh, gets uh, uh, evaluated uh, in somebody whose asthma is poorly controlled.